This is now my third video covering the Dream SMP lore. And let me tell you, even so far, this journey has been freaking crazy. It's been wild. And I don't think that it's gonna get any less bonkers because the one we're doing today is the Reign of Manberg. Now I watched the revolution and I gotta say I was I was moved. So I am super interested to see what it was like when the Manberg was in power, I guess? Is that what I'm in for? I, I honestly don't even know. We interrupt your programming to bring you a very important announcement from a very sunburnt Matthew. I went to the beach with my parents today. It was great, but wear sunscreen, folks. In case you didn't know, I have a Minecraft faction server. We've been running it for quite a while now, but we decided in the new year, we were going to reset and have a brand new season that we're calling season three. Resetting like this also gives more people the chance to like rule, conquer, and really make it to the top. But you're gonna have to fight hard to beat me, you know why? Because I'm gonna be grinding. I'm gonna be coming for you. You know, do you know how many bases I've exploded? You didn't even want to know. I even pinned it on other people. People think that other people blew up people's bases. A lot of it was me. Me! The first players to achieve certain things will get a spot in the Hall of Fame. The achievements will be things like being the first person to kill the Ender Dragon, or the first person to get a million dollars, or being the first person to recruit 10 members for your faction. All kinds of different achievements, it's gonna be great. The server is available on both Java and Bedrock, and we have a Discord server where you can stay in touch with the community, make like lore or faction updates, and even participate in our community events. For example, we're about to have a TNT party to celebrate the end of this season. So make sure to come join our server, the details will be on the screen right now, as well as in the description below. I will see you there, where I'm blowing up your stuff. Lamemberg was free. In the light of their independence, Wilbur Soot declared himself as the president of their great nation. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit dictatorial, isn't it? As the weeks went by after the war, not much happened in Lamemberg. The server was at peace, and so there wasn't much Wilbur had to do to maintain their nation. But peace is boring. And Wilbur, although being the leader of their nation, began to feel his power slipping away. Is Wilbur, he is a little bit of a villain? This simple fact sparked a plan in Wilbur's mind. A plan for him and Tommy to reclaim the power they rightfully deserve. Are they gonna like try to take over the server? What better way of getting power than having the people themselves vote for you. Oh right, he's gonna try to amplify his power by running an election. Wilbur's plan was to notify no one that the election would be taking place until after the ballots had shut. Okay, politically corrupt person. After making Tommy his running mate, the two ventured off to Lamembert to write the election ballot. This is like so damn corrupt, oh my god. We're what, like not even three minutes into this and it is already messed. Wilbur and Tommy bragged about their plans to one player. Someone new. A man who would seek to ruin their plans of taking power and win the position of president for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, this man was Quackity. That is a name I've heard, but I actually don't know who Quackity is or what they've done. Announcing his campaign right in front of Wilbur and Tom, <laughs> Quackity's party would be titled So We Are Gamers, or Swag for short. Wilbur and Tommy knew that they had to change the name of their party. The Right The Best was a good name. Okay, maybe not, but they knew there was only one word that could compete with swag. Sam! They would run as the politicians of gaming. Pog. Their new party oh my God. would be Pog. Oh God, Pog vs Swag, I hate it so much. The two parties ventured to the newly created courthouse to hold their first debate. God, I would be fascinated to watch this debate happen live. The first issue brought to the table was territories. Lemanberg has a long- <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Lemanberg is not a place of oppression. It is a place of sanctuary for our people. What you are intending <laughs> to do is come into our land. The acting is genuinely impressive. He's got so much passion. Wilbur is embracing tradition here. We don't need to embrace tradition. We, we are a new generation of politicians, Wilbur. I hope you remember that. <laughs> This is surreal, dude. Like, absolutely surreal. Topic number two was their stances on the killing of pets, as an ongoing pet war ensued in the back- Oh god, that's so sad. Rip Henry. I would like to create a police force that will uphold the law so that no further pets are killed in Lamambo. George just chilling there in shiny ass armor and them shades is just amazing. Why is he holding a carrot, though? 
What's up with that? No one should be dying, and no one's yes. animal should be dying yes. either, Wilbur. We are attacking the problem from the root. You just want to throw people in jail, Wilbur. I'm not for what? that. Tommy, <laughs> fearing that they were starting to lose. The Dude, I, 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 unironically, I was invested in that conversation. Next, the running mates would have a debate. This was Tommy in it versus George not found. This would be the weirdest conversation. We had to fight with our very hands and knees, my friends. We had betrayals. I had to give away my discs, and you know that's Four my prized knees. possession. Yeah. Well, you're talking about freedom here, yet you lock it behind a certain group of people. That but seems, the reason you know, we have to make this certain group it, of people, that George, seems almost... it's because the Dream SMP, your land, which you stand for, mercilessly <laughs> blew up our <laughs> land, killed our Can friends, you tell me our family, why, our why, why was your land, why did it need I, to be blown up? I can't get over how raw and real this feels. I feel like I might say this a few times, but damn, the acting is already standing out to me, especially that this is mostly improv is just incredible. When this was a simpler time on this server, we all lived in harmony and it was very nice, very peaceful, and we loved it. And then you came along. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so direct accusation. I think it's very important that the Dream SMP server people understand we don't have anything necessarily against them. We just want to make a clear boundary that, look, we, we fought for our nation. I gave Dream my discs, and now we've earned it. So I think it's very unfair of you to shout no. <laughs> the person administrating the debate says, Dream is so handsome, I'm not even listening to Tommy right now. <laughs> Sounds like it's going well for them. Wilbur and Tommy decided that they'd had enough and would not continue the debate. They trusted that the people would see through the lies of their opponents and know in their hearts the right side. I feel like that's not going to happen. September 21st, the day of the Lamamberg election. The funny thing is I actually have no clue who's going to win. I feel like maybe Wilbur and Tommy are going to lose and then they just get like mad angry because of it. Maybe they do some things they'll regret. Fundy walked up to the mic and just started talking. My fellow citizens. Oh, I stand here today humbled by the task before us. I love that they're wearing suits. I am not powerful. I am not Yay. resembled the physique, physique of a leader. And I might not have wealth, True. but Jesus. I do have a dream. Is Fundy gonna win? I can deliver as many cookies and ice cream as you desire once you have voted for Coconut 2020. <laughs> Wilbur was not very happy about Fundy trying to undermine the system and join the election the day it would happen. Because of this, he attempted to send Coconut 2020 away and keep them off the ballot. However, the people wanted to- <laughs> You're losing, you're losing, Wilbur. Started as an attempt to gain more power has now put Wilbur and Tommy at risk of losing all the power they had. But little did they know, it was about to get worse. Oh god, who's coming in? Jay Schlepp. A comedian. A man of business. But behind all lies a calculated man. <laughs> this is so dramatic. And he has no intention of losing. At any cost. He is confident, charismatic, and ruthless. Give him control. He will control did, everything. Did my man just smash a chair? Democracy is overrated. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> what an opening sentence, goddamn. You think this you need a president? Crazy. You think you need... I'll be my own president, everyone. <laughs> I love this guy already. Yeah, you think uh, you want Wilbur? I'll run my, my own president. No. <laughs> This oh, isn't the end of this isn't the end of my presidency. Everything was going downhill. And fast. Dream endorsed Schlatt and proceeded to give him his crossbow. Dream endorsed him? Everyone on the podium retreated to the White House and hid from Schlatt. After their blockade was repeatedly broken, just like taking over. Wilbur knew there was no point in continuing the rally and decided to drop the ballot. In doing so, he knew he had no choice but to include both Coconut 2020 and Schlatt 2020 to keep the integrity of the election. Right. The votes began flooding in. Tommy and Wilbur sat on the edge of their seats as thousands of their viewers- Oh, the, it was voted by the viewers? That's amazing. The reality of their chance at losing becoming very real, Tommy and Wilbur attempted to make a backdoor deal with Quackity. 
in the event that Schlatt 2020 or Coconut 2020 would win the election, Pog and Swag would combine their votes, creating a coalition government with two presidents and Tommy as vice president. <laughs> These like behind closed doors deals are so weird and terrifying. Quackity refused the deal, but he wouldn't give up on the election that easily. He knew that if nothing was done, Pog would win the election and everything he fought for would be for nothing. And so Quackity offered a similar deal to Schlatt. Swag Party would give all of their votes to Schlapp. Oh my god. On the condition that Quackity would be his vice president. Man, Wilbur and Tommy be making some mistakes? The next day, the results were in. I don't feel very confident for Wilbur and Tommy. Today, they would not just find out who won the election, but also inaugurate them immediately. Upon inauguration, the new leader would then announce their first decree as president. Has someone like laid TNT underneath just in case so that they can just destroy everything if it doesn't go their way? With 9% of the vote, 20,000 people or so. In fourth place is Coconut 2020. Yeah. RIP FUNDY! With 16% of the vote, coming in third place is Schlatt 2020. Oh, so maybe Wilbur does win? With 30% of the popular vote. Led by the party leader, Quackity Swag oh. 20. <laughs> Couldn't Wilbur just like lie? 45% is Pog 2020, led by the incumbent. <laughs> Two nights ago on the night of the election, Quackity made a deal. No matter what happens, Quackity would pool Swag 2020 votes on with Schlatt 2020 votes. Pog 2020 got 45% of the popular vote, meaning that the coalition government of Schlatt and Swag 2020 got 46. Oh my god. <laughs> meaning that tonight Schlatt 2020 has been inaugurated. Yeah. Wow, by 1%. I don't feel like Schlatt is a particularly good guy in this story. However, he is a badass. <laughs> now the second most powerful man on the server gave his first decree. Wilbur and Tommy are outlawed. My first decree as the president of the Manberg. The emperor <laughs> is to revoke the yes, citizenship sir. of Wilbur. Oh, I knew it. And Tommy in it. Oh my God, that's brutal. If Tommy and Wilbur wanted to make it out alive, they had to run and run they did. They were now banished, not only from the nation of Dream SMP, but their own home of Lamanberg. They ventured off into the woods, and as they searched for a place for their new home, they thought about what this meant. They had put everything on the line for Lamanberg, gave their lives. Okay, this is getting a little sad. <laughs> betrayed by their own nation. They built their new home in a small hill a few hundred blocks away from civilization. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Tommy and Wilbur hit rock bottom. But then, Schlatt announced he would be giving another speech. Helpless and alone, all Wilbur and Tommy could do was listen, as the nation they once loved crumbled before them. People of Lemanberg! <laughs> I love his voice. I reckon our nation needs to expand. I reckon we've we've done our country a great disservice. I reckon we take down the walls. Whoa! Dude, Schlatt is very quickly becoming my favorite character. Just throwing everything into disarray. Wilbur exclaimed that he was a slow burning fuse. And over the next few weeks, he would become a much different man. Because he's ready to blow shit up. That's totally what's going to happen, right? They're going to destroy Lemanberg. Tommy had a trick up his sleeve. An old friend. Who, in the time they needed it most, stepped up and offered a hand. Oh, it's Technoblade. Pig man. Together, Tommy, Wilbur, and Technoblade would build up their new base in a ravine underground. Keeping it a secret from everyone on the other side, they hoped to grow their arsenal right under Schlatt's nose. I am ready to see where this is going. Schlatt gave a second presidential speech. In this speech, he announced he would be changing the name of Lemanberg to Mamberg. Oh no, getting rid of the European. The L. Tommy Wilbur and Technoblade began by naming their new home Pogtopia. Why not Pigtopia? By the next day, Technoblade, who according to himself stayed up all night, 
had created a large potato farm. <laughs> of course it's a potato farm. What else would it be? Within a few weeks from their banishment, the resistance continued to build. Technoblade gathered weapons. Tubbo informed Wilbur of all of Manberg's plans and the path to Manberg continued to expand. Are they going to recruit other people? The nation of Manberg had changed a lot in this time. Office buildings arose, the Lamanberg flag was burned, and in its place sprouted a new flag. Yo, that looks evil! Things in Manberg looked to be going smoothly. But deep down, Schlatt knew it was already falling apart. Word of a rebellion caught wind in the streets of Manberg. A secret group of people plotting to take down Schlatt. A secret group? Who could it be? As a last resort to save his dying country, Schlatt decided to throw a celebration. A celebration of the new changes he had enacted as president, and a celebration of Manberg. He had announced the Manberg Festival. Oh my god. You've just given them a perfect time to attack. A new plan began to come together for Wilbur. Losing all hope of gaining back control, Wilbur chose destruction. Yes! I knew it! Since the beginning of Pogtopia, a secret supporter fed them supplies and an offer of help whenever needed. An old enemy. Dream. Whoa! That's a twist. I didn't see that coming. Wilbur had every intention of keeping Lamanberg inside its walls and living peacefully. But when Schlatt became president... I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Dream doesn't want it to expand. He wants them to stay in their little corner. On the day of the festival, directly after Tubbo's speech following the words, Let the festival begin, Wilbur would make his way to the detonation room, press the button, and destroy everything. Is everyone gonna die as well? He would blow up everything. And he would do it with a smile. I feel like maybe he's gonna like back out at the last second though. I could be wrong, but it's just, it's just vibes. The people of Manberg and Technoblade went off to party at Carl's party island. <laughs> Upon seeing the people, his friends, happy, Wilbur began having second thoughts about- I them. knew it. Wilbur decided he would make Tubbo choose for him. That's a lot to put on Tubbo. He was called up to the stage to give his speech. If Tubbo said the words, let the festival begin, Wilbur would immediately sprint to the button and detonate all of it. But if he didn't, Manberg would live to see another day. Why am I tense? Our people have been beaten down by rules and dictators for so long, now we are finally free. I don't know if he's gonna say it or not. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to this wonderful event. <laughs> What's up, Schlatt? You got anything else in the speech? Uh, begin? no, on that note, let the festival begin! Oh, he went for it! Before Tubbo could leave the podium, Schlatt and Quackity quickly trapped him with concrete- So they know? And it didn't take long for the true nature of the gathering to be revealed. This was never meant to be a party. It was a trap! This was no festival. No. This was an execution. An execution! No, I don't know, uh, I don't know if you know this, but treason uh, isn't exactly a respectable thing around here. You know, uh, I, know, I know what you've been doing. <laughs> Dude, I love Schlatt. He's so insane. Hey, Technoblade, you want to come up here for a second? Uh, what, what do you want out of me? Mr. Oh, no. I, mean, I only call you in for special favors. Techno, I need, I need you to take him out. I feel like Schlatt knows that Techno is involved in this, right? Of all people to pick out, you pick Technoblade to do the execution? That can't be a coincidence. I'll make it as, as painless, as Technoblade. colorful as possible. What the hell? Ah! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Rip. Kill everybody! Wait, 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 Everyone go after Tommy and it! Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the button? Wilbur seems genuinely stressed. Tensions were high. Tommy, enraged by Techno's actions, the killing of his best friend challenged him to a duel with no weapons. I mean, I feel like Techno was kind of forced to do that, right? Otherwise, he would have been found out as well. Wouldn't you have wanted him to go through with that? Because if he'd challenged him, then Schlatt would have been like, right, you're dead too, BAM! Technoblade, being Technoblade, won the duel. <laughs> and as the rest of Pogtopia continued to process what had just happened, Wilbur spoke to Techno. And within seconds, the two agreed that the next time the chance came, they would both team up to destroy 
everything. I wonder if they'll actually do it this time. Not long after the festival, a new faction arose on the SMP. Created by Bad Boy Halo, the nation of the Badlands sought to take control of the server through always helping the losing side of the battle to keep conflict going indefinitely. They just want to watch the world burn. Most of the members of Dream's faction, the Greater Dream SMP, remain neutral during the battle, not wanting to create unnecessary enemies. That being said, some could not just stand by and watch their friends fight to the death. One of these players was Eric. I would not trust him, right? He couldn't live with the decisions he made. He regretted it all. <laughs> but no apology would make up for what he did. He wants to make up for it with actions, with fire. Schlatt was running out of options. As of now, his army consisted of himself and Carl, which, you know, could be a bit better. Army! Schlatt offered something to Dream in exchange for fighting alongside him in the war. A secret book, something powerful. The only person who knew the contents were Schlatt himself. Okay, now I'm so curious what is in the book. He immediately accepted the deal and agreed to fight alongside Manberg. With this, the stage was set. What was in the book though? While the rest of Pogtopia had been engaging in pity conflicts and drama, he had been preparing weaponry for the past month. Yep, sounds like Technoblade. <laughs> As they descended into the armory, everyone was shocked. The walls were lined with chests and the armor stands engulfed by netherite armor. Dude, he's been working! Fully geared, the group exited Techno's base, gathering at the foot of the path to Manberg. Months of buildup led to this moment. They do look so cool there. Tommy charged ahead, leading his army to battle, <laughs> to take back their home. Schlatt and Dream's army held a watchtower at the end of the path and immediately began firing upon Pogtopia's arrival. <laughs> Knowing that the absence of cover gave them a huge disadvantage, the army quickly rushed the tower to force Manberg off from below. Just try to overrun them with numbers. The first few to reach the top of the tower forced Dream and his men to retreat back into Manberg. Running out of options, Dream stopped fighting and requested to speak alone with Wilbur. I wouldn't trust him, man. I would not trust Dream. Dream pointed out that he made a mistake, as despite his entire nation being attacked and having bribed one of the most powerful men on the server to supply him an army, Schlatt didn't even bother to show up. Upon realizing this, Dream saw no point in continuing the battle and announced Manberg would surrender. After announcing the surrender, Dream led everyone to the remains of the Kamar van. Here lied Schlatt broken and unchanged, the leader of a dying nation at the end of his reign. Is Schlatt gonna do something? Or is this all part of the plan? Schlatt began acting strange and... <laughs> what? <laughs> he just killed himself? With Schlatt gone for good, Pogtopia had won the war, taken back Manberg. Or should I say, La Manberg. <laughs> the European is back. They needed a new leader of their nation, someone strong, someone fair and a true leader. And for some reason, Wilbur chose Tommy in it. That's adorable. I love that. I feel like Tommy would make a good president. As much as this is everything, and this is what, this is what would have been everything. I can't be the president. What a twist. Tubbo, I want you to come up onto the oh, stage. Yes! Uh, yes! Tubbo! <laughs> yes! Uh, I've been put on the spot here. I wasn't expected to be surrounded by here with friends. Enemies, which I don't hate all that much, I'll be honest. This is so heartfelt. Now everyone's here in unity. No one is banned, and that's what counts. Thank you, everyone. It's been it's been an honor. It's been... I feel like now it will be peaceful for a bit. But Wilbur was nowhere to be seen. Now he blows everything up. He made his way to the back of the hill. This time, he made sure to mark the entrance. This time, the plan would... Oh God, is he actually going to blow it up now? Wilbur entered the detonation chamber. The words of the Lamanberg anthem enveloped the cold stone walls. At this point, bro, why now? Technoblade shot his firework launcher, killing Tubbo again. What? You guys Stop. listen to me. I did not spend weeks what? planning this revolution, giving you guys gear for you guys <laughs> to go in and replace one tyrant with another. <laughs> oh man. It was never meant to be. Oh my god. What? 
Wow, that's a lot. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Will. Oh my god. I Leman Bergfell. My unfinished symphony, forever unfinished. Man's lost it. Kill me, Phil. Phil, kill me. Phil, kill me. Phil, stab me with the sword. Murder me now. No matter what you want, I can't. <laughs> this is so intense. Wilbur was now gone. A mere memory of an idea. Good God! You want to be a hero, Tommy? You want to be a hero, Tommy? Then die like one! <laughs> That's where the line comes from. This was the real war. Techno oh and Dream fought to protect. God damn! Erupted into chaos. Oh my God! This is chaos. I mean, that's one way to do it. The Withers have been killed, but not before causing even more damage. The land was disfigured. Once a nation, a home, was now nothing but a crater. Wow, that's, that's, that, yep. That's very well blown up. Filling in the crater with water, new life began to emerge from the everlasting scars of its creator. Oh well, they actually are building on top of it. But in his quest to abolish conflict, one action would separate the inseparable. Tubbo would exile his own best friend. Why? Well, that was a damn journey, wasn't it? Oh my god. God, there was so much in that. There was mystery, drama, tension, suspense. Feels like I just watched a damn movie. I just feel like I never cease to be amazed by the depth of the Dream SMP content. And when it comes to this lore series, we're not even halfway through. What else happens? I, I just can't anymore. <laughs> I, I just, that was a lot guys. I loved it. But that was a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.